What? Sure. these others. I'm not even a black Volker. Please don't kill me. But I don't know anything. I'm just a prisoner here, a slave. The Volkers don't tell me anything. They treat me like dirt. They beat me up if I screw up their orders. You may know more than you think, miss. Help us and we'll help you, okay? Well, all right. I still don't know how much help I can be, but I sure hope you get rid of all the Volkers. I hate them. Is she that Republic soldier? I heard one of the Volker mention her, but she's not here. He said Brezhik didn't trust his men around her. I guess she's too important to be a slave here in the kitchens, getting pawed and groped and kicked and spit on like me. Brezhik must have taken her somewhere safe. What? I I've never heard of such a thing. I guess it might be in the garage on the lower level, 
That's where all the Volkers go to work on their swoop bikes. But I've never been down there. The elevator is protected by a security system. Only the Volkers are allowed to go down there. Now that you've killed the guards who were supposed to watch me, I think I could find my way out of here. I'm free to go? You're not gonna kill me? I, I don't know how I can ever repay you! Thank you! Thank you! I, I have to get out of here before any of the Volkers see me! Wama Mulira, King Gunjo Peshak, Noba Muli Tonga Buksha Munino, Wanga Kumpiski, Bata Kunju Stak Niki Gravel Mogo, Kachi Chu Aitao Dunga, Kachi Chu Aitao Dunga, Yin King Kunoba Muli Takunju Stak Niki Gravel Mogo. Kachi chu ai tao dunga, tulpa tunga ai tuam jiji yumali kachi chu ai tao. Chi bedwana ni bobo. Kuya mi chus kachita, nai patunga ya fulki, kukula jiji. Da bist yu bong konki bangpa, chin pala chis. Konti chani. Bulira ashok turung umni patoga wanka chomit. Tonga bug sham uninong. Wanga kon biskin ba mulira. Konti chani. Bulira ashok turung umni patoga wanka. Thank <laughs> you. 
this. Take that. Ready. Down you go. Yeah. No problem. Got it. What? Yes?
Ready? What? Sure. Hey, Karth. You're a pilot for the Republic, right? You've been all over the galaxy, I bet, right? So tell me, how would you rate Taurus compared to other worlds you've seen? To be honest, Mission, Terrace would rate pretty low. The 
prejudice, the rich spoiling themselves while the poor are crushed beneath them, it, it's not a pretty picture. Yeah, but that's only since the Sith occupation. Before that, well, I guess it wasn't all that different, really. Hmm. Maybe Taurus ain't as great as I thought, you know? Trust me, Mission, there are a lot of worlds better than Terrace. There, there are worse, too, but Terrace is no place for a kid to live on her own. Even a kid who's got a Wookiee to look out for. Hey, I ain't no kid. I look out for Zalbar as much as he looks out for me. Big C's my friend, not my babysitter. Jeez, I come ask you a question, you give me a lecture. Don't you snap at me, Missy. You want a lecture? How's this? Only bratty little children fly off the handle because of a simple comment. I don't have to listen to you, Karth. You ain't my father, though you're sure old enough to be. So keep your lectures inside your withered old head, because I don't need them. And I sure as hell don't need this. Look, let's just drop it and get back to what we were doing. Didn't work.
Yes? Я медюз качита, найпатога я фулки, кукуля джити. Кауана бота, а айот таго. Брешик stole that engine from Gadden. It was never yours to begin with. Каватум па кун па ия мока па ата. Бонана. Уана чек йонги? Уана бота кун титаре ти? Качичу айтха одунга. Tonga bug sham uninong, wanga kun. Mana mana tota, aku cikratuk bola, di shock jonato. Wi ita nada na itia, watai. Smilia. Ajuta.
I'm sure. Can I, can I talk to you for a second? Are you ready to have a civil chat? Or is this gonna be another childish tantrum? Tantrum? I'm trying to apologize, you nerf herder. I mean, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get mad at you. It's just that I'm sick of everyone treating me like I'm a helpless kid. Yeah, I know. And I'm, I'm sorry about what I said, too. I'm just a little on edge. Not surprising, considering all we've been through. I shouldn't take it out of me. Mission, you have to know that we don't think you're helpless. I mean, look where we are. Look at what we're doing. You're not just along for the ride. We need you. You really mean it, don't you? Nobody's ever said anything like that to me before. Not even Big Z. He might think it, but he's not really one for words, you know. Thanks, Clark. Well, it's not I, mean, I know it is. Sometimes you just need to hear a few words of encouragement. Kids are like that. Kids are like that? Listen, you... Oh, I get it. Okay, you got me. You're pretty funny, Car, for an old guy. Come on, geezer. Let's get back to what we were doing.
Welcome back. Are you in need of healing or medical supplies? I can treat you right here at the center for almost any condition, except the Rakul disease, of course. You have the serum? Impossible! How did you get this? No, it, wait, it, I don't really want to know. Can... can I see it? The serum, I mean? I need to see if there's enough for me to analyze it so I can start producing it in mass quantities. Hmm, let me see... Yes, this is it. A cure for the Rakul disease. With this sample, I can make enough serum for everyone. The people of Terrace owe you a debt they can never repay. Please, take this small reward. It isn't much, but it's all I can afford. A few credits and two spare med packs. You truly have a noble and generous spirit. But you deserve something for your effort. Tell you what. I'll give you a discount whenever you shop at my store. It's the least I can do. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Of course. Just step over here and I'll show you what I have in stock. Blow it! If you'd brought that Rack Ghoul Serum to Zax, you would have made it worth your while. But no, you had to go and do the honorable thing. snappish when we last talked. I'm sorry about that. I get a little touchy when it comes to Griff. It's kind of embarrassing telling people about him. No, I, I want to tell you. Salvar's a great listener, but it might be nice to talk about this with someone who doesn't reply and growls and grunts. I never knew my parents. My brother always looked out for me. He's the one who brought me here to Tars. I was just a kid, only five. But I remember the trip, if you could call it that. We were stuffed inside a packing crate in a Starfighter's cargo hold with just enough food and water to make the trip. Not exactly first class, you know. The only way to get off the planet was to smuggle ourselves out. I mean, I don't want to make it sound like we were criminals. Well, maybe my brother was. See, this is why I don't like to talk about it. It makes Griff sound worse than he really was. My brother had his problems, but he always looked out for me. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Without my brother, I don't know where I'd be. He gambled and drank, and he was always borrowing money for his latest get-rich-quick scheme. But he had a good heart, you know? He taught me how to survive, he showed me how to slice into a computer security system, how to get inside a locked building without the entrance codes, and how to spot a wealthy mark for a quick shell game. Yeah, Griff did right by me. I really miss him since he left. Keep hoping he'll come back someday. He promised me he would. He fell in with a bad crowd. It's all Lena's fault. She's the one who took him from me. Just batted those long lashes at him and off he went. I don't want to talk about Griff and Lena. Just the thought of that space tramp makes my blood boil. The subject's closed as far as I'm concerned. If I'm gonna be any help to you, I can't be worrying about my brother running off with some intergalactic skank. So is there something else you need? Okay, have it your way.
This elevator is off limits. Only it's obvious from the way you're dr Well, why didn't you say so? Hmm. Everything seems to be in order. Okay, I guess you can go down to the lower city. Just be careful down there. No problem. Didn't work. No problem. Didn't work. Back again? Is there something else you need? Do you... do you have the cure, Upworlder? You... you'll help us? Oh, bless you, Upworlder, bless you! But you must hurry! We have the Rag Ghoul disease. It is only a matter of time until we are transformed into terrible creatures like those who attacked you when you first came into the pen. It is too late for them. Soon it will be too late for us, and we will transform into those horrible rat ghouls ourselves. Please hurry, Upworld. Don't forget. Welcome back, Upworlder. How goes your quest? Have you found the journals of my father and grandfather? Can it be true? Is it possible that at long last, the dream of my father and grandfather before him will be fulfilled? I... I can hardly bear to look. Hmm. Yes. Yes, of course! Now I understand. It all makes sense. Now I see why the Promised Land has been so hard to find. It is so obvious. You have done a great thing, Upworlder. A selfless act that will bring great joy to all the people of this village. I must take this to Gendar right away. Frukil, what do you want now? Have you more fables of a hidden paradise just waiting for us to find it? You may not think these are fables after you see what I have brought you, Gendar. Look at these journals! What? No, it can't be. Are these real, Rukil? Is this information accurate? I swear to you, everything in these journals is true, Gendar. The Promised Land. I told you I would find it. The entrance is far from here, Rukil. It will take us weeks to get there, perhaps even months. And we will have to cross many ghoul infested areas. I do not deny the journey will be hard, Gendar. But surely it is better than the miserable life we have here. Wise words, Rukil. Our supplies are high right now. We could leave by nightfall. I will tell the others to prepare for the journey. Thank you once again, Upworlder. I will say a final goodbye. For where we are going, I fear you cannot come. The journey to the Promised Land is long and arduous. No, Upworlder. I cannot ask that. The journey will take many, many weeks, and those who make the journey cannot return. That was the final secret of the Promised Land. When the colony was created, it was designed so that people could enter willingly, but they could never leave again. This was to ensure secrecy on the project. We must part ways here, Upworlder. I sense your destiny is yet to be chosen, but the destiny of my people is at the end of the long journey ahead of us.
and speak to Gad on it. You have returned. You have the prototype swoop engine accelerator with you? I was beginning to wonder if you would make it. The race is tomorrow, and my mechanics need time to install the prototype into the swoop engine of our bike. Don't worry. I'm a man of my word. I promised you could ride in the swoop race under the Hidden Beck banner, and I'm still going to let you do that. And I'm even going to go one better. I'm going to let you ride the swoop bike with the prototype accelerator installed on it. Without it, you won't stand a chance. Gaddon, you can't be serious. We need one of our best riders on that bike. We can't let some rookie take the prototype engine into the race. I have to be honest with you. There's a reason I'm letting you take the prototype engine. The accelerator is unstable. There's a good chance it could explode during the race. I can't ask one of my own riders to take the risk. They'll be running unmodified swoops in the race. You'll be the only one using the prototype. If you can complete the track before the accelerator overheats, then you'll win for the Bex. If you die, then one of my other riders could still come through for me. You don't get to be leader of a swoop gang if you don't know how to work all the angles. You can stay here tonight. The mechanics need time to install the accelerator on the engine, so you won't be able to practice your riding. But I've got good instincts, and you have the look of a racer about you. Just try to relax, and in the morning we'll take you to the swoop track. La 
Svoboda ani vyčí smak toma. Wanna come back? Kuj ja vyčiu spúnači ten naj. Vina kuj mama ruli ra... Buba patú kot. People, hear me! Before I present the so-called champion of the Bex with their prize, there is something you must know. The winning rider cheated! Your swoop bike was using a prototype accelerator. Clearly an unfair advantage. Because of this hidden back treachery, I'm withdrawing the bonus share of the victory prize. Fool! Your traditions are nothing to me. I am the wave of the future. If I want to withdraw the prize and sell this woman on a slip, I might have something to say about that, Brezik. <laughs> Possible. You were restrained by a neural disruptor! How could you have possibly summoned the will to free yourself? You underestimate the strength of a Jedi's mind, Brezik. A mistake you won't live to regret. Vulcus, to me! Kill this woman! Kill the swoop rider! Kill them all! Bloody Vulcus will think twice next time before trying to keep a Jedi prisoner. And as for you, if you think you can collect me as a prize, wait. 
You don't believe this. You're, you're one of the soldiers with the Republic fleet, aren't you? Yes, I'm sure of it. How did you end up racing for these swoop gangs? Who'd save me? Is that what you were trying to accomplish by riding in that swoop race? Well, as far as rescues go, this is a pretty poor example. In case you hadn't noticed, I managed to free myself from that neural restraint collar without your help. In fact, it's more accurate to say that I saved you. Brezhik and his Valkas would have left you for dead if I hadn't stepped into that fight. You're lucky I was here to get you out of this mess. Karth Nasi is alive. Finally, some good news. Karth is one of the Republic's best soldiers. He's proved himself a hero a dozen times over. And he sent you here to save me. Maybe I misjudged you. Karth wouldn't have sent you if he wasn't confident in your abilities. Forgive me. Despite my Jedi training, I still tend to act a bit rashly sometimes. Please, take me to Karth right away. Between the three of us, I'm sure we can figure out some way to get off this planet before the Sith realize we're here. You cannot win, Revan. Bastila, you're alive! Finally things are looking up. Now I just need to figure out a way to get off this planet. You mean you don't have a plan to get off Taurus yet? What have you been doing all this time? I see. Now that I'm back in charge of this mission, perhaps we can start doing things properly. Hopefully our escape from Taurus will go more smoothly than when you rescued me from Brezhik. I know you're new at this, Bastila, but a leader doesn't berate her troops just because things aren't going as planned. Don't let your ego get in the way of the real issues here. That hardly strikes me as an appropriate way of addressing your commander, Karth. I am a member of the Jedi Order, and this is my mission. Don't forget that. My battle meditation ability has helped the Republic many times in this war, and it will serve us well here, I am sure. Your talents might win us a few battles, but that doesn't make you a good leader. A good leader would at least listen to the advice of those who have seen more combat than she ever will. Yes. I apologize, Karth. This has been a difficult time for me. Of course, I'm happy to listen to your advice. What do you suggest we do? First off, we can't get hung up on who's in charge. We all need to work together if we want to get off this rock. The answer is out there. We just have to find it. Well said, Karth. And the sooner we start looking, the better. I've already been a prisoner of the Volkers, and I don't plan on being captured by the Sith. I think we'll need some help getting off Terrace. Maybe if we ask around, one of the locals can help us out. We should probably start by asking around in the cantinas. Is something wrong? You seem as if something's troubling you. A vision? A vision of what? This is... It's strange. Such visions are often a sign of force sensitivity. I'm not sure. It may be that you have some connection to the force. It would not be unheard of. When we first met, your natural talent may have fed off my own Force abilities. It is possible that in the excitement of the battle's aftermath, the Force allowed you to witness one of my more intense memories. The Force is complicated. Even I, with all my training, cannot fully understand it yet. This is a matter best left to the wise masters of the Jedi Council. Once we escape Terrace, we can seek the guidance of the Council if you wish. They will understand the significance of your vision, if there is any. However, I think it would be best if we all stayed focused on the task at hand right now. We can't afford any distractions. We need to find a way off Terrace.
Kin kin ku no ba muli ra ching kun. Rundi ha donga ku hunga bi. Tong hai tuam ji ji yu malith pa ang ying ko tu. Shag ji kin lor chao wa ta uma? Kava vo... I saw you in the swoop race. Very impressive. You seem like you know how to get results. That's just the kind of person I'm looking for. My name's Candorus Ordo. I work for Davik Kang in the exchange. The hours aren't great, but they promised me a fortune to work for them. And I have nothing better to do. Mandalorian mercs like me are in high demand. But lately, Davik hasn't been paying me what he promised. I don't like getting cheated. So I figure it's time for me to break the Sith quarantine and get off this backwater planet. I've got a plan to escape Taurus, but I can't do it alone. I need someone I know can get the job done to help me. That's where you come in. Careful. Mercs like this have a lick of conscience. They'll betray you in a heartbeat. This could be a trap. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to your friend, aren't I? I saw you win that swoop race and started thinking. Anyone crazy enough to race like that is probably crazy enough to break into the Sith military base. I need someone to steal the Sith launch codes from the base. Without those codes, any ship leaving the atmosphere will be disintegrated by the Sith fleet's automated defense guns. Here's the deal. You bring me those launch codes, and I can provide the vehicle to get us off the planet. Davik's flagship, the Ebon Hawk. Uh-uh-uh, not yet. First you bring me the launch codes. Then I'll tell you the rest of my plan. Getting in won't be easy. The Sith base is protected by an encrypted security system. It would take a top-of-the-line astromech droid to slice through it. Lucky for you, I know just the place to get a droid like that. Davik was having one custom-built by Janice Nall. Just tell her Kandorus sent you, and she'll sell you the droid. 
Then you can use it to get the launch codes from the Sith base. Davik paid for the droid, but I'm the guy he put in charge of the mission. He won't care how I come up with those codes. Normally I'd do this myself, but everyone knows who I work for. If I broke into the Sith base, they'd send an army down on Davik's estate to get those codes back. That's why I need you. I don't sense any deception from him, which is surprising. This may be exactly what we need. I'm going to wait in Javiar's cantina. You come and find me when you've got those launch codes, and I'll make sure we both get off this rock. The mysterious stranger, you know, if times weren't so t Masala, I was wondering something. How did those Vulcans manage to capture a famous Jedi like you? Were you knocked out when your escape pod crashed? N no, I was conscious. But my Force powers were exhausted from using my battle meditation in the battle for the Ender Spire. Without my help, you might have never gotten off the ship alive. Fair enough, but I've seen you Jedi in action. There's, there's no way those thugs could have stood a chance against your lightsaber. My lightsaber was misplaced. I couldn't find it after the crash. I looked everywhere in that pod. The Vulcus came and overwhelmed me even as I was searching for my weapon. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. You lost your lightsaber? <laughs> I mean, isn't that a violation of some kind of Jedi code or something? This is no laughing matter. During the crash, my lightsaber must have... It, it must have fallen from my belt and rolled under my seat. The Vulcus probably found it there when they searched the wreckage. Hey, 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 don't get mad. I'm sorry. It's just funny to think of a legendary Jedi losing her lightsaber. Take my advice. This is one detail you might want to keep in the history texts. I hardly consider myself a legend, Calf. Though I will consider your advice when I relate these events to the Jedi Council. There is no need for them to know every detail of what transpired. Vassala, did you ever think about joining all the Jedi who were running off to follow Revan and Malak when they went to fight the Mandalorians? 
That was nearly five years ago. I was still an apprentice. My battle meditation hadn't even manifested itself. Yet even then, I had the wisdom to obey the will of the Council. Unlike Revan. I guess. Still, do you ever wonder if things could have been different? Or would Revan and Malak still have been corrupted if the Council had supported them instead of dragging its feet? Do not blame Revan's corruption on the Council. Your Republic saw only the threat of the Mandalorians, but the wisdom of the Masters saw beyond the immediate threat. There was something lurking out there. Something that devoured Revan and Malak, and many other Jedi. Had the Council sent us all into the unknown, how many more would have fallen? So you're saying we should have done nothing? Just let the Mandalorians conquer us on a post? I mean, the Republic was under attack, and the Order abandoned us. We did not abandon you. But the Council were not about to throw lives away foolishly. In time, we would have aided you against the Mandalorians. But you couldn't wait. Revan and Malak offered a quicker answer, and the Republic chose to walk the easy path rather than the path of wisdom. Now we see the results all around us. You asked me if I think things could have been different. I know they could have. If Revan had only listened to the Council, millions of innocent people would still be alive. Yeah, right. And every single one of them would have been speaking Mandalorian. I, I think we're done here. Let's just get back to the task at hand. Hachu apanki, jishawa anibong ka sha chonas tanga bok sha um nak nong kin kun shi mokau dang ya foki chachi kipuna bona na kichu kin ba mule radwana watawama muli ri kin kun shope shwa.
Sure. I'm here. How can I help? I would like to know what happened after you crashed on Taurus. I'm curious as to what you and Karth were doing before we all joined forces. Yes, I realize that, of course. But surely there was more to it than a simple search. I doubt there were flashing signs pointing you in my direction. Yet somehow you found me. You also avoided detection by the Sith, discovered I was a Vulcan prisoner, gained sponsorship for the race, and became the Taurus Swoop champion. That's quite a resume. Your modesty is admirable, but though others helped, you were the catalyst for these events. When you were chosen to join this mission, I doubt any of us expected this much from you. A Jedi could have done such things, of course, but only by drawing heavily upon the Force. The Force is in all of us, though for most people it's barely a measurable whisper. But there are some individuals outside the Jedi Order that we consider Force-sensitive. It's obvious to me that the Force has been working through you. There is no other explanation for your great success, though I'm not certain what to make of this discovery. Perhaps if you weren't... well, if you were younger, the Jedi might take you for training. But as it is... I'm sorry, I've overstepped my authority. I'm speaking of things that are best left to the Jedi Council. For now, let's just accept the fact that you're gifted. Hopefully, between your abilities, my Jedi training, and the skills of our companions, we can find a way off this planet. The evil walks among us. The enemy is here. We must act now before we are over. What? <laughs> 